Although we get it done with every group from the time we start on September 1st to the time I put the decoys away for the winter, some weeks present more drama than others. Despite the mayhem, Brian Whitaker takes out a group on their first hunt with us and manages a limit of ducks while I was dealing with the drama and trying to sort out live video feeds with the Wild TV tech team. What a week. I'm Claudio Angaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfall hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. It's easy for me to sit in the studio and have a big smile on my face. And, you know, when, when you're out there outfitting and you've got, you know, five guides, support staff, seven or eight vehicles, several thousand decoys, there's a lot of moving parts. And, and it's amazing how if just one of those significant moving parts breaks down, it creates a whole bunch of drama. And, uh, and sometimes you end up with a whole bunch of drama happening at once. There was, there was the one week there, Barb got sick. Uh, we, had, we had the oven break down, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but when it happens on a Wednesday, and your cook is trying to get a prime rib ready for the incoming group of hunters, it, that just creates drama in itself. So then you have to draw other resources to make sure you get an oven picked up on a turnaround day and have that installed and you know there's just there's there's so much that goes on behind the scenes without even having to worry about the hunting component and then you know me and the guides have to be out spotting but we're also the support team that comes in to deal with the additional drama during that same week i'd fired a camera crew i don't even want to discuss that brought in another one don't really want to discuss that either the drama that occurs every day is is crazy and brad would call me quite often to see how we're doing and usually he would just go hey are you juggling chainsaws it kind of makes me laugh and it lifts my spirits every time he calls but anyways very funny uh now not so funny when you're in the field dealing with it all you know we always seem to get through it without it affecting you know the hunting and of course we can't control the hunting component because the birds do what they want whenever they want and that adds to some of the drama when we have a plan and a program and that changes because our target hunts don't pan out we have to pull a switch midstream so anyways this episode is all about that we are in a bit of a scramble here that's what we like to see right there Look what we have here. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. It's a nice little hunt right now. And they've been there a couple times. I didn't see it this morning. There's a, not a ton, thousand little Canadas and some big ones and more on the way. And if I can get 10 flights of ducks in here, this could be the hunt. This might be our morning hunt right here. <laughs> That's only a mile from the lodge. So we have to sleep in. I like it. Okay, I might call Jason. J-Mo. Hello? The mailbox peas is really stacked up, kind of where they've been. Hey. Yeah, it's really nice. And there's a few flights of ducks that, that hit it. Like, really nice. So, option A, someone has to watch this one. Uh, or, or, like, I can't do both. And Brian's working on another one. Do you have anything going on? Snows are just coming from the south. Oh, really? Okay. So I'll stay down here for a little bit. Well, I was I was thinking maybe go up to um, the other one, but I don't. I wanted to get an inventory here on how many ducks come in because I don't have to go check that other one. I get ten right. or fifteen flights of ducks. I can just hunt this one, right? You know, I can be up there in a little bit. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Like I got out the gate a little bit late because the oven quit today. Now, can you believe that? Anyways, okay. Well, I'll maybe sit here for ten minutes and. See what happens, and maybe I can blast up there, and we'll either trade out, or if you've got something, that's good. It just, it's, I still have time to get up there. It's only 10 to 6, so. Yeah. Okay. 
I'll so go. Are you, like, are they, uh... <clears throat> Little Canada's right, right on the edge of that point, right where they've been the whole time. Which P field? Right north of the, right north of the mailboxes. North, okay. Yeah, right. Don't let me know. But I can always get Brian to slide over there. He's at, he's at uh, Bart's now. So, right. well, we'll see, because otherwise we get spread too thin, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, let me know. Okay, bye-bye. Jay's working on some snow geese. He's chasing them down. Uh, Brian's chasing a bunch of birds off another roost. And I have a bunch of these in already. And uh, a few more flights on the way. Now, if there's more ducks, I'd be in, the, in there like a dirty shirt. See what this looks like for another five minutes. Get an inventory of any of the ducks coming in here and make a decision. So we've had an absolutely crazy few days here. The hunting was good. Barb ended up with a migraine on Saturday. And, you know, although we all have our jobs and it's a very finely tuned, finely oiled machines, you know, anytime you pull a cog out of, a, out of an engine, it just doesn't work so well. So I had to get, my girlfriend Lisa came to help with some of the turnover and the cleaning. Uh, her son Drake, we got him doing the bird processing. I did some of the bird processing. Then we had, uh, to top that off, we threw a brand new camera crew into the mix. Then uh, everything's going smooth, and on my way out the door to go spotting, D goes, oh, you're not going to believe this. I go, D, don't. He goes, the oven just quit. And I went, okay, well, that's not that big of a deal. It's just an oven. So anyways, more, uh, more fires to put out. It's just, you know, I, and I, I've said this a million times. This is like the Memphis Bell, and it starts all shiny and new in September, and we come skidding and crashing into a halt November 4th. So we'll see what happens. Meantime, hunting's been good, and let's see if we can do it for this group. Okay, so in a slight change in plans, uh, Brian picked up an absolute smoker duck hunt, and, and it's, it's really good. That's some geese on it too, so he's jacked up about doing that one. So I'm going to be a little late getting to mine. I actually have to do a live TV thing tomorrow afternoon with Wild TV. Not that this hunting thing's tough enough, but uh, trying to get the birds to be here during this 20 minute window makes it a little bit more complicated. So we're still trying to work out some of the technical kinks with that and I have to hunt tomorrow afternoon or be with one of the other guides. So I'm gonna probably forego the morning hunt. Uh, so right now it's looking like Melvin and Brian. And I'm just gonna race over there just have a quick look at it with them and take it from there. That's the plan. Hello? Yeah? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Okay, are you, are you in or you're not in? Oh, no, I'm pretty much in. Okay, you think you can kill your ducks? Yeah, I've seen a bunch of ducks. Okay. Um, I can't see them feeding, but I got a pretty good feeling I'll get, I'll get the ducks. Okay, because Brian's hunt is even bigger than it was. So he's, uh -huh. he's going to go on that. And, and that's, I think it's going to be you and him. And then we'll worry about tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. I'm just getting to, to David's now. Yeah. How many are in there? Uh, probably 10. 10,000. Yeah. That's good. Real good. Okay. Quite a, quite, quite a bit of green. Well, that's good. Um, well, just check your wind and then I'm a mile away from my duck hunt. That's not bad. Well, it's not terrible, but Wendy says it's going to swirl. Well, well then, then or hunt them in the afternoon. Well, it isn't going to matter. It's not getting any better. No, All right. Yeah. Well, look, give me give me five minutes and then be ready to hunt it, and we'll make a decision here. Oh no no, I'm 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 ready. Okay, then hunt it. I mean, they're they're, they're starting. This summer's starting to fly out. Okay, then hunt it. But it's that time of the night, so. It's a, it's a ripe fruit. Pick it. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, they all got up. Whew. All right, well, <laughs> good thing Brian's hunt is rocking because this one is not looking that great. I mean, there's, you know, there's three or 400 ducks. 
few hundred snow geese tops and and that's it you know they're feeding they're there but not not that great I think we're gonna let this one let this one go I could clean up some ducks here I don't think I could shoot 40 here in the morning so Brian's in Brian and Mel not enough snow geese so we'll leave them all right here we go that's what I'm talking about they have come together oh yeah nice 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 that's a great little option there that could be fun all right good good very good went to the house over there yeah I talked with uh morley morley and then uh he gave me directions and i had 10 minutes to scoot over there because somebody was picking up their kids so oh boy over there but it's a nice goose hunt it is you probably see it from here too that one so you're good to go on this one which is great yeah we'll just film you again in the morning and put your quarter in and play the game again you know good so, group of guys and any chance for geese or no there's always a chance okay o always a chance here but uh mm -hmm. it's primarily just pintails and mallards okay perfect well let's get that done get get either 32 or 40 mallards out of the way or ducks and get it done and i've got uh, i had a really good afternoon goose option and uh right at right by the lodge and not a lot of ducks, so I thought I'd blast up here. And then I got your message. I went, well, and then, and then you know, we had some of the other stuff go wrong. And, you know, we had an oven breakdown today. So if I don't hunt tomorrow morning, it probably saved me a little bit of grief and anxiety. So it's not one anyways, thing, it's another. Right on. All right, so I'm going to blast off. I'm going to go try to get permission good. on Doug's. And we'll take it from there. Very good. Have fun. Thank you. Bye-bye. We've got a big wetland. Uh, to the west of where these birds are feeding. They're just, they're roosting in here. It's a little tight. Uh, usually we'd like to be about a half mile away from, from the roost water. I think we're gonna use the lay down blinds and uh, probably put out all oh, around 10 or 12 dozen dive bombs. We'll put a mix of Canada's in spec. I don't anticipate shooting a lot of geese. Uh, the ducks love Love the goose decoys, so there'll be no problem there. We'll get those lucky ducks spinning, and I think it's gonna be a good morning. You can hear the dogs already excited. All right, let's sneak down there while we still have a bit of light and uh, get that pin in the ground. It's tough to track them down in the dark. I mean, we were spotting them from, oh, over a mile away. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're on them now. Uh, there was about 2,000 mallards feeding in here last night. Uh, we're right on the X here. Uh, our roost water is off here to the west. It's big. And uh, the ducks, I think they should be roosting on the north. I'm going to put out... Two bags of dive bombs, that'll be about 10 dozen. We're gonna put out Specs and Canada's. Uh, we're running these Cabela's uh, Renegade blinds. I'll show you guys how to set them up. They're super easy, they're super comfortable. You guys will love them. Uh, yeah, I'll plant the Robos in the hole. And uh, yeah, the rest is up to you guys. I'm gonna set out the basic shape of the, uh, of the decoy rig. Uh, it's going to be just a simple J kind of shape, something that we can, a shape that we can kind of use in case the wind shifts on us. You know, we can adjust our blinds and make sure that we're killing them right in the holes. Okay, so this morning we're set up in a barley field. Uh, I sat up on the hill to the north and watched these ducks feeding in here last night, and they were pouring out of that roost. The only factor I'm a little nervous about is that we're we're a little closer to the roost than I would like. We're fortunate though that we've got good wind, so I don't think they're gonna hear us shooting and we shouldn't disturb them too badly. Uh, if we do and they blow out, well, there's enough duck traffic flying around here that, that we should be able to get it done. I know it's these guys' first time up here and I wanna put on a good show for them, so fingers crossed. So you ready, guys? 
Go, go, go. Here, here. Single. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Here. Get ready. Kill him, kill him. Try. Get ready, guys. Wait for these two. Kill him, kill him. Good job, guys. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Well done. That was nice. Out of the decoys with all that down falling. Well, that was fun. Sit. Sit. A lot of birds moving around. Get ready, guys. Kill him. Kill him. He's all boogered up. Sit. Two. Right right shoot this one? Yep. Kill it. Kill it, Cody. Kill it, Cody. Chicken flipped. You didn't get that. Here. Yeah, he'll get it. Place. Good. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yeah, Tyler, get down there if you want to. No, won't you just drag your blind over here? Kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. I shot him in the rear end. I think you got him in the front end. He was gonna get you. Here. One more swing. Don't move, guys. Get ready. Kill him, kill him, kill him! There we go, guys! There we go, guys! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Good shot.
shit. Great shot. Get ready, guys. Go, go, go! Oh, good try. Going to the right. Bombing in. Get ready. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Get ready, guys. Go, go, go! Nicely done, guys. That's that's the limit. Well done, guys. I, you know, that wasn't uh, that wasn't how I thought it was gonna go today. Man. I thought we were gonna just be gobbed up instead of shooting. A at, limit's a limit, bro. At threes and fours. <laughs> a limit. Well, a limit. not for us. A limit isn't a limit here at Ongaro Lodge. Yeah, I am too. I like slower hunts sometimes. Yeah, I mean we don't. If you can call out a slower hunt, I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> this was slow. I'm sure for their team. It's 9.30 now, that was a bit of a grind. We didn't get the big groups of ducks I thought we were going to have. We kind of chipped away at singles and pairs and small groups, but the boys shot well. And we got it done. We've got some beautiful drake mallards in the mix, a few widgeons and some pintails. It was a good hunt overall. We got to get this spread packed up quick and Claudio wants me to check something uh, to the west there on my way back. So, you know, and of course, as we're packing up, this is what starts happening, you know. Look at, look at the ducks, look at the ducks out that way. You know, but we got it done. Live to fight another day. Yeah, when you guys, uh... Drop your gun gear off, go downstairs, and uh, we'll meet you downstairs for some lunch. Okay.